Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentac PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you one on one the brand new MSI GT70 refresh. First up we have the Dragon Edition 2 which is the one we're unboxing right now. And then later on in the video we have a non-Dragon Edition that we've upgraded to show you as well. As you can see standard with high end laptops now you're going to be receiving this in a double box. This is to keep it protected during shipping. The inside box for the Dragon Edition is all black and it says Dragon Edition on both sides. Overall, the dimensions of the box are quite small and it keeps everything well packed within. When you get the box open, you're going to see that you do have compartments on each side and in the center, covered in a black cloth, is the actual laptop itself. Starting with the largest compartment on the left, first thing we're going to pull out here is a bag and inside of that bag is the actual cable that connects from your power adapter to the wall. Behind that, the next thing we're going to grab out is our actual battery for the laptop. And finally, the largest part is your power brick. This is your AC to DC adapter. And now we can go ahead and pull the actual laptop unit out of the center. We have the cardboard wings on each side. This is to support it during shipping and keep it safe from any kind of shock damage. A black cloth-like material on the outside to keep it from getting scratched. And then there is yet another layer of protection under that, which is a white cloth material that goes over the LCD lid and screen to keep it protected from scratching against itself. Now that we have the laptop removed out of the box and we've removed all the protective casings off of it, you can see the Dragon Edition for the first time and notice the most obvious difference between the Dragon Edition and the non-Dragon Edition, which is the metallic red finish located on the LCD lid and on the palm rest area. Now to finish up with unboxing the rest of everything, in the front we're going to have what you'll find with any new laptop, all of your driver's disk, product manuals, and miscellaneous accessories. And now to unbox the very last thing that we have in here, in the back we have something quite unique to the Dragon Edition 2 laptop. Much like when you get a collector's edition video game, you might get rewarded with certain unique collectible items. This is a hot wax seal that you can use if you'd like, but mostly it's just to pat yourself on the back and say, congratulations, you have a Dragon Edition 2 laptop. Of course, the greatest reward is the laptop itself, but a few extra items like this can never hurt to have around. Now with the formalities of unboxing out of the way, we can take a much closer look at the unit itself and get into all the nitty gritty details. So we've already mentioned the really nice red metallic finish that you get. You can see the dragon is kind of hiding in there when you have the light shining on it just right. The black and red color scheme looks excellent on this laptop. And while we're taking you for a spin before we look at the details in the hardware, let me give you the overview of what's important in this brand new unit. Your first major upgrade is going to be coming from the brand new Intel chipset Haswell. The 4th generation Core i7 CPU in here starts at 2.4 GHz but then goes all the way up to 3.4 GHz when it's in Turbo Boost. The Haswell GPUs, much like the last generation before, do have the built-in integrated graphics. This one has the HD 4600. You can use those integrated graphics to save a lot of power and not have to use the dedicated GPU full time. The next thing that we'll talk about hardware-wise is going to be the RAM. This laptop is coming with an obscene amount of RAM, a full 32 gigabytes of RAM and an 8 gigabyte stick by 4 configuration. And of course, in a high-end gaming laptop like this with hardware upgrades of that nature, you can expect a very strong GPU and some other neat tricks up its sleeve. But I'm going to save a little bit of that information for later in the review when we get to the benchmarking section. Speaking of neat tricks, the very first thing that we're going to feature as far as those go is the brand new hybrid power technology this laptop features. What this feature enables you to do in a nutshell is take the power from your battery and your AC adapter and combine them together at the same time to get more power than you would normally have available to reach higher overclocks and higher system stability. Over on the Windows system screen you'll see the two pieces of hardware that I already mentioned, the 4th generation i7 and the 32GB of RAM. However, on the device manager you'll have a lot more detail than that and you just got the first glimpse of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 Mobile the highest end GPU from NVIDIA at this time. Now using this stock setup we've already run some benchmarks and here is 3D Mark 11. A performance score of 7330 this laptop was capable of getting. 
Now remember to always compare this against other systems running the same benchmark to get accurate results. Do not compare it to older versions of 3D Mark. Other than your raw performance score, is one of the other most important things to know about a high-end gaming laptop is how the thermal performance is rated. These temperatures show that 65 degrees Celsius on your video card and 60 degrees Celsius on your CPU is about the maximum that we reached, and that is considered to be very good for a gaming laptop. Over on the GPU-Z side, we have all the information on the brand new GTX 780 Mobile. Make note that at this time the software is not properly displaying, but we do have a full 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 video RAM. Now at this time we're going to jump over to another unit. This is still the same GT70, except this is the non-Dragon Edition, and we've upgraded the CPU to be the Core i7-4930MX Extreme. This CPU starts at 3 GHz and goes all the way up to 3.9 GHz when it's in Turbo Boost. Really quickly, using GPU-Z, we're going to show you the Intel graphics, the 4600HD. Remember that this does come in handy for you. Having very high-end hardware is always great when you need it, but when you don't need it, sometimes it can do unnecessary things such as drain your battery life. So having the integrated graphics is actually really nice. Also, you have high-end hardware for your wireless and wired internet with the killer brand stuff. And here is the upgraded CPU I was just mentioning. Starting at 3 GHz and going up to 3.9 GHz, this is very powerful for a mobile CPU. And of course, it's built on the Haswell 4th generation 22 nanometer process. Now let's go take a closer look at some of the other personal touches the GT70 offers other than just pure performance. You have a touch bar above the keyboard area that gives you several features. And one of them now is this really cool system control manager. It has a very pretty user interface and with this you can change off and on several options. Your webcam, touchpad, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, volume, you name it, it's all here. Now keep in mind that these laptops do have high definition webcams the color backlit keyboard, and one of the best audio systems on any laptop on the planet with the Dyn Audio speaker system. So outside of the internal hardware, outside you have very nice features as well. Once you turn off the lights, you can get a much better view of that multicolor LED keyboard I was just talking about. And this is branded by SteelSeries, which is a well-known brand, and it's all very configurable through software. You can change three different color zones, and you can choose from a huge assortment of colors and then you can actually toggle it into several modes as well. So you can have it change colors, fade in and out of colors. You can really customize it to have the look and the feel that you personally want. Now to reveal another one of those really awesome features that I'm super excited about. The last iteration of the GT70 had something called Super RAID, which used micro SATA SSD drives in RAID 0. This newest incarnation now puts three micro SATA SSDs in RAID 0. This gives you a lot more storage space and a lot more transfer speed. As you can see here from Crystal Disk Mark, these speeds are absolutely insane. Outside of the disk benchmark, of course, we're still going to show you all the other standard performance benchmarks used for gaming with this higher CPU. 3D Mark 11 now has a performance score of 8,430 on the system, and 3D Mark Vantage is at an absolute eye boggling 36,990. PC Mark 7 is pulling in 6,539. And over here on the hardware monitor, of course, our temperatures, as last time, our CPU seems to be settling in about 60 degrees max Celsius, which is the same as before, despite being a more powerful CPU, showing that the cooling system is working very well and has room to grow when it's a stronger hardware. The video card also running only 61 degrees Celsius max. These are ice cold temperatures when it comes to high-end hardware, and that means you don't have to worry about any kind of heat issues, and you have room to overclock as well. Because earlier in GPU-Z, we couldn't show you quite accurately the information on the brand new GTX 780. Here is all that information for you. The core speed, the memory speed, the proper 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, and all that is here for you to see. And now moving outside of Windows entirely, we're now into the system BIOS. There are not a lot of options inside of the BIOS that you probably need to come and mess around with, but it will let you confirm your hardware and make a few changes if necessary. You do have the hardware RAID here, so you have those three microSATA SSDs set up as a single drive in RAID. You can see that the CPU was properly detected at 3 GHz on the first screen. And you can make changes here if necessary. So if you ever wanted to break apart the SSDs and take them out of RAID, you can do so, but do keep in mind that if you change that setup, you would have to reinstall your Windows and everything else. And now as we start to finish up our grand tour, we'll show you all the things that this laptop has to offer as far as external connections and then some of the insides as well. 
Starting on the right hand side in the front you have two USB 2.0 ports. Next to that is your optical drive that does have a dedicated eject button as well as the emergency eject hole you can put a paper clip in if you need to. On the back we have the metal lid. Remember the Dragon Edition is also metal but in red. Down below you're going to see the Kiddington lock port, your DC power in, your RJ45 Ethernet connection, VGA output, mini display port, and HDMI. This is probably the best time to tell you about a very exclusive feature on this laptop. It's called the Matrix Display. This laptop can actually use three external monitors at the same time using the VGA connection, the HDMI connection, and the mini display port connection all in conjunction. This feature was unlocked by Nvidia and it's supposed to be exclusive for MSI. As we swing around to the left side of the laptop, you're going to first be greeted by two USB 3.0 ports, a card reader, this is a USB 3.0 and eSATA combo port, and then you actually have four audio connections, headphones, line in, line out, and microphone. That's really nice to have that built directly into the laptop and it really can increase the versatility of this machine to do other things. As I had previously mentioned earlier, the Dyn Audio speaker system is pretty much the top-notch thing on the market right now. Not only do you have these nice speakers on the top, but you also have a subwoofer on the bottom as well. Speaking of the bottom of the system, let's go ahead and flip over the laptop and take a look at all that stuff now. First thing that's going to catch my eye always would be seeing three microSATA SSDs all next to each other like this. That's the Super Ray 2 setup that I was talking about earlier. This is going to be what's responsible for all that massive speed when the uh, transfer speed, starting up your system and everything like that. You have one very large cooling system here that's connected to both the GPU and CPU heat sinks. And you'll see that there's a new piece here. This bridge that actually connects the two together helps improve the cooling efficiency of the system versus the old heat sink design in the older GT70. And even though you do have the microSATA SSDs, you still do get a full size rotational hard drive here for the larger storage capacity that will hold all of your media, music, and movies. And before we bring everything into a close today, let's go ahead and weigh in this machine. We're at 8 pounds and 7 ounces pretty much with the laptop and the battery. If you decide to travel with your power adapter as well, you're going to be looking at almost 11 pounds. Now keep in mind it's recommended that you probably travel with a backpack and that most of this weight is going to be supported on your shoulders so it's actually not too bad. And the very last thing we're going to do to size up this machine is give you the actual size. Across from one side to the other we're just shy of 17 inches and then from one side to the other the other way we're just over 11 inches. For your height of the laptop near the front it's just about one and a half and near the back the taller side you're about just over two. So considering what kind of hardware is inside of this machine, it's actually not too large and it's not too heavy. Now while we'd love to give you another 10 minutes of information on this laptop because there is so many great things to say, unfortunately our video does come to a close. If you do have more questions or concerns though, feel free to visit our website gentechpc.com. Also remember on the product page we always have the current pricing and availability, the full system specs, and a customized ordering process. Anything you'd like to change about a laptop, we can do it for you and cover it under a full warranty. So once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.